It's been 8,000 years since you've seen our faces. And what's, what is this? Honey, what, honey, what is this? <laughs> it is my new game. You know, the last time we vlogged, we weren't, we weren't in a poly relationship. That's the last time we, I, I know, just say. No, we weren't. <laughs> I've got two bitches now. <laughs> um, so I, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I like video games sometimes, and I got Horizon, the newest one. Oh, 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 and he got a promotion at, at Nondescript a, Job. Yes, at my job, I also got a promotion today. So sick. I like that. Um, this is this is Cody's day. It is. It is my day. Yeah, I had um, to fight the doctor, so I didn't have a good day, but I'm happy he had a good day. Yes, but on notes of video games, my favorite game in the whole world is Horizon Zero Dawn, and um, I got the newest version. Not the super ultra, super deadly rare I just got He the, wanted that one really bad. Yeah, but everyone sold out and I'm not paying six hundred dollars for a video game. Yeah. Um, so I got the regular <laughs> This is still gigantic though. <laughs> collector's edition. This is much bigger than the last one. Yeah. Uh, well, eh, the other one was also a big figurine, so this is probably gonna be the I same. think it was just the figurine though. It was like the figurine and an art book. This gets yeah. a lot of stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, not as much as the super ultra crazy edition, yeah. but oh. this is still a quite also, a Also, before anybody asks, um, it came with both versions, right? It did. It comes with PS4 and PS5. Because we still don't have a PS5 because we're not gold. And I'm not paying a million dollars for those either. Yeah. <laughs> pull, baby. Pull. I have one hand. I have one hand. Pull. <laughs> Cow. Yeah, it was all boxed. That's this, a nice this box. This is a big f***ing thing. It's a nice box. That's a That's nice, a nice box. <laughs> There's the elephant. Elefante. All right. Holy cow. Um, I swear to God, they were going to drop that. I was yeah, let me like, just Ooh. drop this on the ground. Um, oh, what the f***? What? It opens sideways. What? What the hell? Oh, so put it on its side then? No, it opens like a door. Uh, okay. That's okay. odd. That's interesting. P.S. Feev. So I wish we had see. one. <laughs> okay, there's another one there. Don't rip it. I'm not. It's a oh. box. That, it's another box than a box. Get it out of the way. Special meaning that I'm just have to be super smart go. to open Ooh. it. Ooh, Cody, that figurine's huge. Okay, it was worth the two hundred dollars. Cody, that's that is gigantic. Oh, Jesus H Christ. That's oh my huge. god. All right, so hi guys. Long time no see. I know it's been a bazillion years since I've done a vlog, but you know I've got depression and my life sucks. So. Um, wow. I'm hanging out with my friends, and has this year not been- Hold on. What, like, in the course of, like, two months, 2022's already been pretty bad. What is- Am I wrong? What is wrong? <laughs> well, I mean, we, we don't- what? World we don't War three, three, Oh, yeah, we got World War Three. we've got everything else going on. So anyway, we're doing an art date. Shh, we don't talk about World War <laughs> <laughs> So we're having an art date. This is... Red Vines. Okay. <laughs> and then this is... And then this is, <laughs> yeah, and we're um, just doing art stuff and trying to get that serotonin. Swear. <laughs> <laughs> my first, so my I'm just like. Mm. First, mine was Kiki. Way, mine was yeah. Kiki. I think my neighbor Totoro was the second one I ended up seeing. I ended up seeing that one as an adult, and I was just like, huh. Oh, wait, Anna, 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 you can explain to Tiffany why the kids are dead, right? Because you explained it to me. Yeah, why the kids well, are dead. Because yeah, yeah. she couldn't remember why. Well, you, you couldn't pretty remember. Much, I pretty much, like, the deity that Totoro is based off is, is a death deity. In, in Japan, right? In Japan. <laughs> so basically, he shows up to spirit what? children. Oh, that's you. Just, so pretty much, when the girl goes right. missing... She's technically dead yeah. by that point. And she technically also dies going to search for her. Yeah. So by the end of the movie, they're technically f***ing dead. And that's why at the end when they're like, oh, they're in front of their mom's f***ing window. And then she looks and they're not there. It's like, because they're f***ing dead. They're, yeah. they're fucking dead. And the dad has no fucking clue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I found that out as an adult. And I'm like, yeah, wow, this makes this movie too. way more fucking depressing. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I know, I know, I know it is not the same, but I will fight every time he says that fucking oh, the great wolf children is, is abusive. And I'm like, it's not. I rewatched I know them. it's not. I know I it's not. Them recently. No, I tried explaining this to him. I tried like, explaining oh, this to him. Not vaccinated. She didn't know what the fuck was no, going no, on. No, no, I was like, like trying to, he's like, no, it triggers me. I'm like, that's valid. It can trigger you. Right. What about But she's them? not abusive. What are the examples? Because I've been wondering about that. Two movies do not bring up 
Wolf children and Grave of the Fireflies. Don't touch them. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's I like saw Grave of the Fireflies. Grave of the Fireflies at least makes sense to me. I can yeah. see Grave of the Fireflies. Madam, are you I aware know. that you're recording just Did your hand? Did he not say? Am I fucked? Damn it! The whole time. it well, you know what? I'm keep, yeah, I'm keeping that clip in. That's pretty good. Art day part two. Tiffany had to leave, but what are you getting? I'm getting in this couch. <laughs> is what I'm getting. And I get to try Bo- uh, not Boba. What's this? Boba. Pokey for the first time. Oh, yeah. Or Poke. Never had Poke or Pokey or yep. Pokeball or whatever. Poke, whatever, yeah. So I'm excited to give it to it her. Before, so I'm yeah. try it. All right. I think I'm... think this one's mine? Uh, mine has like edamame and stuff in it, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so hi. Um, let me flip it around, right? <clears throat> Probably look like a... A little bit of a hot mess. I haven't shown my face. Well, wait, what am I saying? No, I showed my face during the art thing. Anyway, so hi. Um, you know, it's the backdrop. I'm at my in-laws. And um, uh, at the time this is going up, there should already be a video going up. So that shouldn't be an issue. You guys should be getting the... Um, Sketchbook rambles for the month of February. I'm like playing with my sketchbook. I'm working on it right now. Uh, ignore the dogs. I can't. I can't do anything about that. But um, this month was better than last month, but it wasn't a good month. Um, I had lots of ups and downs, and towards the end of it, uh, I'm not sure if I made a joke about it or something in the clip before this when I was hanging out with my friends, but. Um, so sorry, I'm saying I'm um, a lot. I'm, I'm I'm having a very I'm having a very low mental day. Um, I kind of wish more people would show their lower mental days. Uh, I know it sounds silly, but it makes me feel so self conscious when I have a bad like day, and it's like oh, well, obviously I don't have to put the camera on. I don't have to talk to you guys. I don't have to share it. But sometimes when I'm having a low day, I don't know. I like feeling not as alone. You know, like oh. Because I think that's the thing that a lot of people talk about with, like, depression and people that struggle with mental health issues is a lot of it makes you feel very othered. It makes you feel very alone, um, you know, and there's a lot of things that we just don't understand. And so, um, also, sorry, I'm going to, I, I pick at things, I'm going to pick at my lips, but, um, I have been battling, um, a urinary tract infection for... A while now. I didn't realize it was a while, so I finally got meds for that. But I'll talk about it like in depth in the in the sketch rambles. But the medicine's messing me up right now, and I, I don't know how to describe it. Besides, I can like feel my kidneys doing like this in my body. It's like the best way I can f try to figure out how to describe it. Um, which my doctor told me is a normal side effect. They were saying that because, uh, it was a severe infection that, uh, the medication is going to make, like, the pain worse, but it means the medication's working. So, I've had a really bad couple days, <laughs> but, um, yeah, something else I wanted to bring up. Um, I want to know if I'm the only one, but with everything going on in the Ukraine right now, um, I've seen a lot of people that are attacking people for not talking about it. And it's not that I don't want to talk about it, is I'm not fully educated on it. And, uh, it stresses the out of me, okay? It, it stresses me out. It makes me worried. It makes my anxiety go like a thousand percent. Because I feel like we're on the brink of World War Three, And I know that might sound like, oh you're preposterous and you're crazy and that wouldn't happen and I've had like family members and friends be like it's, it's not that bad and I'm like really really it's not that bad um when we're seeing people in in bomb shelters and like freaking it, it's just it's and and we're seeing photos of people being attacked and like it it it's it sure seems bad, and then, like, a lot of people are bringing up the whole thing. We're like, oh, we don't need a war. And it's like, yeah, you're right, we don't need a war. And then, it's, you know, like, I've seen that and everywhere, if, like, Russia stopped, there wouldn't be a war, there wouldn't be a fighting. But if the Ukraine just gave up and just, you know, let Russia take them over, then there won't be the Ukraine anymore. Like, 
that's a that's a pretty big perspective, and I didn't think we would have stuff like this in 2022. I don't know why I thought that. I guess I was optimistic, but yeah. So I'm at my in-laws. I'm trying to chill out. I'm trying to relax, but I'm not dumb. I'm not digging my head in the sand. But it seems like everyone around me. It's all they want to talk about and all they want to do, and it's all over my feeds, which is good. It's a good thing. I'm just saying, me mentally, I can't, I can't handle it anymore. I just can't. I, I'm like, I'm so stressed out. My anxiety's through the roof. I've got other family stuff going on, and it makes me sound selfish when I say that. But it, it makes me feel selfish that I'm like, no, I, sh I should be educating myself because you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like an adult living in a war zone. Oh, that sounds that sounds insensitive. That's not what I meant. I meant a war a war time like time zone. I didn't mean the zone. I live in freaking America. And again, who knows? Uh, I know that's that sounds horrible, but it's like it's a big reason why I was I, I had a video to go. It was gonna be later, but it was gonna go up um, last week. But then with everything happening, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like talking about right now. I don't feel like you know shilling my Etsy store. And working on uwu cute things is very appropriate. I know other people are doing it, and I'm happy they're doing it. But for me, I just feel bad. Yeah. Oh, that's my that's my husband. So. So hi. If you've uh, been a watcher of my vlogs for a while, you would know. I hate, I hate these things. The pantry mods. After many years. Are back. I'm really mad about it. Uh, I'm lucky though because we keep everything they can get to in containers now, so we're not gonna have a fiasco like last time. If you guys didn't do, I'll know. I'll do a quick recap. So, the first year that we lived here, uh, all, everything was fine and dandy. We moved in in the uh, we well, we moved in October, so that's when we ended up coming here. And hold on, I'm making food. <laughs> so anyway, what ended up happening was um, we ended up moving in here in October because if you guys didn't know, we, me and my husband didn't have a place to live. I'm not showing my face right now because I look very frumpy. Um, I'm going to put a face on because we're going to do our D&D show today, which I'm excited about. But yeah, so before that, I have to get ready and because that I look frumpy. Anyway, so when we first moved here... Uh, it was in October when we didn't have a place to live, and we were very lucky that my parents actually, as like a wedding gift slash, you know, we're happy you're not homeless anymore gift, they've completely filled our pantry, and we were very grateful, and that lasted us a long time. It lasted us a long time, so we were able to put our money towards like getting better groceries and doing better things here and there and eating better, you know, and then, um, like now, because we're starting to get, it's starting to heat up again, um, the, the heat came. And then, oh, you can see their little, little sh frickin' everywhere. Um, but yeah, we had to deal with those, and we didn't know what the hell they were, because me and Cody have lived in California all our lives, never dealt with pantry malls before, ever, ever. And just so you know, they come from the store, we learned this. Um, it's apparently extremely common in cities, and I was like, oh, that's lovely, I love that. So, I'll show you. So we get these little traps, that's like really gross because you can see there's like some bugs in there. So we get those little traps and we would end up um, changing them out. And then we started doing this thing because I saw a YouTube video where literally it's like anything that's loose. So like these because they're not in a baggie. It's just in the box. In the Oh, hi, tomato. Didn't know you were in my freezer. It's fine. Um, we would put them in the freezer because, like I said, they come from the store. It has been confirmed. They come from stores. And there's nothing stores can do because they come from the main hub warehouse from just sitting there. And they love laying their eggs in things like this where it's just free balling. Uh, mostly grains, obviously. So like rice-a-roni, pasta -roni, anything that's like in a box and not like a little bag. So pretty much anything that's nice and recyclable, they can get in. So because of that, uh, I saw a video that was like, hey, freeze them when you first get them home and then put them in containers because that way it'll kill any eggs and you won't even notice it if you're cooking. And I know that might sound disgusting, but it's kind of the only option we freaking have. That's, that's literally all we have. So it's more like, okay, we do that and we don't think about it. It has been three years and we haven't had an outbreak since. Because when we had our first outbreak, we had to end up ditching everything we had like, currently, the only things that aren't in my fridge are the things that can't. So I have my bread 
and my hot dog buns in my freaking microwave right now. All right, so hi, hello. Uh, it is Friday the 4th, um, and we're going to go see Batman. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the little vloggy vlog with Batman and stuff, but the vlog's not going to end here. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm doing some store orders. These are my little receipts. I printed them a little too small, but I can use them, actually, even though they're really tiny. Uh, if you ever need to write really small, just get a really tiny pen. So... I'm filling this out so I can throw them in the um, post office before I go real quick. But we're going to see Batman, and I'm very excited. Toxic Garden sticker. Uh, but uh, what I think I'm going to do, because I don't have that many vlog clips, is after all of that and we do all of that, uh, as you can see, there's probably going to be more timestamps here, because I have random vlog clips from when I tried vlogging previously, and I just never finished that week out. So I'm probably going to stick those in here with some, like, timestamps so you guys know. Because it's going to be, like, way out of order. But there's some funny adventures and stuff in there. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And um, I actually had a video go up today. I know. Amazing, right? <laughs> On D&D. &D. Edit. This is what I mean. This is why when people are like, why can't you, like, talk and draw? I literally can't do both. So I realized... If I wanted to, I can. I can't write. I could probably ink and talk, but not anything else. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited to get back into vlogging, but boy howdy, am I rusty. And I had a video go up today. Very happy with that. It was a sketchbook rambles, and so far the view count is trash. So, who knows, maybe it'll go up. But I, I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen, um, because I hadn't posted in a while because of everything going on. I felt, you know, not right posting something that was just, like, fun and go happy right now. So, yeah, there's that. But that's also kind of what I've noticed with YouTube is, like, negativity sells. So whenever I make an update that isn't, like, drastically horrible, they always do bad. Because it's like, ah, stuff's doing great in your life. People don't want to hear about that. They want to hear about drama. Um, and I can't blame them because I'm also a person like that. Like, I try to, I try to be better. But sometimes I do. I'm like, ooh, give me the spicy tea, even though it's not spicy. So, yeah, there's that. But that's what I expected with the joys of YouTube. I also heard, God, <sighs> I heard that uh, TikTok is talking about making 10 minute freaking videos now. And I'm like, please don't. Then you literally are YouTube. Like you are, you are literally YouTube if you get to that point. I was excited with the three minute videos, but the whole kind of point was supposed to be that it was like tiny, short content, you know, and it was nice and easy for people to like network and get out there and a great platform for artists, but you know, it is what it is. So there's my two cents on that. I might make a video on it later, but yeah. Anyway, that's all. That's all I have to say. That's all I ramble here in my update. So, um, let's go see Batman. Where are we, honey? Uh, in existence. What are we going to do? Watch Batman. Uh, what are we doing right now, currently? We're drinking tea and waiting for fun. Because it's going to be fucking amazing. You know, so you raise what, what, them, what happened? What you happened, put huh? clothes on their backs, you feed them, and they're still f***ing stupid! He, he, Cody, he what did he ate. do? He jumped up <laughs> on the freaking dresser and ate through his plastic bag for his treats. <laughs> Go away. No one loves you. Thanks, I... Thanks. Alright, Cody, how was Batman? <laughs> It's not an answer. We it never, is. I forgot, we never told people how we like Batman. It was quite good. I loved it. The boy. The, the nug. Hey, hey, Joel. All right, it is Saturday, November 20th. 
We are in uh, Baker, not Bakersfield, but Baker, California. And we're going off-roading today with one of Cody's coworkers and his kids. This is Cody's car. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you now for today. So, kind of cover all the knots out of my hair. I have uh, my bomber jacket. I've always wanted one of these, so I'm still working on it. Um, patches, some enamel pins, and then buttons that I've made. Obviously, uh, this is one of my IDV test ones. I have a couple on the back, but they're on my back, so yeah. Uh, we are at our first stop. We're gonna do some like stretchies and get some snacks, and then go on. Other day, I don't know what this like little like thing is here on my lip. I thought it was like hair originally, but I um, waxed my lips, so I don't know what that little gray thing is. Whatever. Anyway, yeah. So you're gonna get random clips, and if it's too motion sicknessy, I'm not gonna do anything. But uh, yeah, let's have fun. What you wanna say, Hyundai? In a world where nothing exists except a desert wasteland, one man. And his friend with a rooftop tent that makes it get four miles to the Cali will attempt to cross the desert. Really? Yeah, I had to. Well, it's it's so it's big. I know. Out of it now. Yeah. But. By the way, by, excuse me. Huh? By the way. Yeah. How, how old are you? Go, babe. Me? I'm 29. How old are you? Four. Oh. How old is he? Code, which lava rock do you want? For the car. Hey, Sam. Oh, guys, 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 here, come here. Come on, guys. Yeah. Can you explain to your mother why you got ran over in the middle of the desert? Yeah. Oh, look at this mega one. Oh, let's go. Oh, these are cool. Oh, right. so Code, which one do you want? Mustang. I know where mine is. Okay. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Goes really? Oh yeah. I never been. Okay. So they they just said it was a little bit of light, but ah. we were here in March and it was like a moonbeam. It was amazing. Yep, Cody's going down. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. So this is why you definitely don't want to throw rocks down here. <laughs> cool that is. It's like a laser beam. It's so cool. So this is Monument Rock. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, Steve and Becky. Here lies nothing ever, something or other. Something like nothing real good ever happened. Yeah, look at this here. big crystal. Well, we got Rip Rick. Yeah. Rip Rick Valdez. Oh, yeah, yeah. The what happened? Oh, the what? Oh, what's it say? On this site in 1897, nothing happened. Really? <laughs> Is that really what it says? Yeah. Well, let me see. Dang it, I want to get a... I am going to I am gonna eat shit if I climb up this. I found what was flying around in the back. What was that? Those, those clams? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, what, what does it say? Oh, right oh no. Yeah, it does say nothing really happened. Then nothing happened. Well, I shook all the dirt out of these. Ones. I like this. I like this watermelon rock. Nice. Look what I found. What? Oh, those are cool. You gotta keep it here, though. This is the reason why we brought our rock so we can uh, contribute. Honey, okay. which one do you want to leave? Found a card. <laughs> feel. It says feel better. Oh, look at that. Hopefully you can see this, and hopefully I don't break my camera. But it says on this site. 1897, nothing happened. I apologize if people get uh, motion sick. Uh, Look, Cody, what is happening? Uh, I, we are going through s some sand dunes, and it's really, bu film outside. It's really bum I I, I, Well, I Jesus. can't. All right. I'm dying. So apologize my, for my motion vehicle sick. is very not equipped uh, 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 for this. God, Jesus Christ. Stuff. We are now passing a giant hole. Oh god, everybody. <laughs> Ugh. 
giant get... hole indeed. Holy, there is a. Uh... That's a hole. Oh, okay. Don't look. Don't look down. Oh. We made it, and we did not die. We are in Afton Canyon. That's called Mother Nature. The two rocks want to kiss. It's when water goes through sandstone. Honey, is it gay? Gay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my heart was beating. We, we my lived. Heart was beating. We lived. We lived. The car became a boat. Holy! Sh that was actually very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, how you feel? Holy! Sh this is called a Weewa crossing. Y huh? Yes, yes, it is. It's a Weewa. It's a Weewa crossing. Yeah. I wanted a photo. And it's our only. It's our only way through. Have any words? Uh, the last one was much deeper and made me question my decisions on things. <laughs> so this one will be much better. So I'm here playing Vidja games. I'm playing rank. Michelle is ranking over there. And in I don't know what it is, but like there's wind. And every time it goes through our apartment, it makes this like noise. We've been trying to catch it on camera for a while now, because at first we thought it was a dog. It was really weird. So we're going to try and catch it on camera, but it's so funny that it just keeps happening. And the second I pull the camera out, it stops. E. It's a loud thing, too. It sounds like a dog howl. Oh. Nope. Do you hear it? Need to I hope that's picking up on camera because it's hilarious. I hope hilarious. so too. It literally goes Ooh! 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 Do it, wind. Do it. The wind said no. I'm not. Yeah? Are you a low? I'm not a woo, But I am your love, yes. My love. Yeah. Yeah. Back to video games. Alright, I'm gonna talk. Where are we going, honey? Get my car washed. Why? Because it's filthy. From yesterday? Yeah. Where are we going? Someplace around. Here? Around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, here. what do you want to get to eat? Quick and cheap. Ah, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so look, it is Tuesday, the 23rd, and I am currently streaming on Twitch. Uh, say hi, guys, if you can hear me okay. Yeah, there you guys go. You are on the vlog. Yee, on my vlog. Um, I am currently working on Ewoo. Yes, Ewoo. Hey, Star. Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I am currently working on um, PNG tubers for my Twitch. And so we just finished the sketch. So we got, uh, we got a Bones here. Bones be looking at his phone for the not talking one. And then when I'm going to be talking, he'll be a little surprised. So I think that's real cute. He's like, huh? Um, and then we got, we got the spoops. We got the spoopy, uh, in, uh, their true form. How I've always wanted to do them. So talking is going to be this one. And then when they're not talking, it's going to be that one. So much more subdued, you know. And then just like, oh. And then we got Cleo. Um, and Cleo, she'd be drinking some uh, coffee or tea. And then it's like, huh? It's going to be like, oh, hey. Yeah, that's going to be real fun. So I am going to get to inking these BBs now. So uh, I will see you guys in the next clip. And yes, everyone's having a nice shout out. Everyone's nice for having a nice, nice chill stream today. That's what we're doing.